And Mariners here in the Bay Area say they are furious over what they're hearing in those tapes. KTU's Rob Rod Life Force tonight in Vallejo, where they're weighing in on what that captain did and what they say he should have done. Rob? Well, here at the California Maritime Academy, you can see the ship students use for training. And they're taught that unlike what happened in Italy, the captain of a vessel should be the last one to leave a sinking ship. Polite has spent six years as a cruise ship captain and now teaches at the Maritime Academy, often using this simulator. He calls the decision by Italian Captain okay. Francesco Scatino to leave his crippled ship, the Costa Concordia, incredulous. I guess I'm ashamed. I, as a professional mariner, that would be something, the last thing I would think somebody would do. Um, I can't fathom that. It makes me professionally angry as well. In an emotionally charged audio tape released today, an Italian Coast Guard commander is ordering Captain Scatino back to the sinking cruise ship he had fled in a lifeboat while passengers were still on board. Scatino, but do you realize it's dark? Coast Guard captain, and so what? You want to go home, Scatino? It's dark and you want to go home? Get on the prow of that boat. Just a moral, moral and ethical sense of a human being would be to do that. Some passengers have said they had a negative opinion of the captain even before the disaster. This Central Valley couple arrived at San Francisco Airport late last night from Rome. They'd gotten off the ship early before the trouble began, but it already formed a poor impression of the captain. Yeah, the captain's table was right next to ours right, at our dinner seating. And my first impression, I even told my wife, I says, yeah, that captain there doesn't care about anybody but himself. Any of this is a black eye to the industry, and uh, we want to be sure that the people that make the mistakes are held accountable for them. Those at the Academy say they expect what happened in Italy may force the International Maritime Organization to review its safety procedures. In Vallejo, Rob Roth, KTVU, Channel 2 News.